Now as we look at the Studebaker, we, we see some serious rust and rebuilding that needs to be done. That's the old, the old visor mount right there. You can see some rot here. This whole area up here, I mean, it's just gone. The roof part is still good, and this is the rain gutter part right here. That's the gutter. But I've recreated a couple pieces for that. The one piece is this piece of flat. It's We're using a, an 18 gauge steel. I've got that made so, it, so it'll kind of fit right up in there. So I'm making these pieces ahead of time and fitting them as close as, as, close as I can before I cut stuff out. This piece here is going to go up inside in here, kind of like this. It's hard to get it on the film. But anyway, it, go, it winds up up in there. It's going to be the inside piece. The next thing I started working on was this bow. There's a bow piece. You can see where it's just rotted off all the way across to the other side. It's just gone. So, with that being gone, I've got to try to maintain, you can see that's rotted off right here, and that's the roof coming down. And it's got a curve here, a little bit tough to work on. So what I'm gonna do is build all the inside pieces because there's an inside brow. And I was able to salvage a piece of that. I've got it over here on the table, and I'm trying to duplicate this. You can see it looks pretty much like a chunk of Swiss cheese but it gives me an idea of what has to happen, what we have to do. Let's join there is actually two pieces that came together in the middle of the hood, or middle of the roof. So I made one half of it already yesterday. This is what I worked on. Oh, I didn't take any time to film it, but this is, this is um, the one piece for over the driver's side, the brow. That's gonna fit in here. Let's see if I got it. It's gonna go something like this. And see, I have that curve, and that's all going to match that profile once I get it up in there. I have to cut away all the old material first before I can fit the new piece in. The trick is fitting a new piece in and everything without losing my contour. And that's what I'm a little bit worried about, is getting that so my glass will fit. But the neat thing is, a couple of tools I picked up from... Uh, we went to Carlisle one year. We got a special deal on some woodward, wood, uh, who is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Woodward Fab Tools, this, this throatless shear. This thing's awesome for just shearing metal. Works real nice. You can put a whole sheet, like I got a, a big chunk there. But we usually buy this stuff four by eight sheets. And it takes, eh, I've done it myself, but it's a pain. With saw horses and stuff, I can lay it out and cut chunks out with this shear. It's very, very good. Better than like trying to do it with tin snips. And then there's this tool right here, which is really a neat tool. It's a shrinker stretcher. And what you can do is make a profile like that. See how I've got it uh, curved. So I would put that in there like that, and then just pull the handle, and it would stretch it or shrink it, whichever you got to do to make it. This was shrunk. So I shrunk it on this edge and pulled it around. So that really comes in handy. So right now I'm working on the second part of the brow piece. And the, the, I've already made the initial bend. I cut it the width I need, the total width. So what I have here is a little diagram I drew for myself because I get confused without something I can look at to visualize it. This is kind of what I figured from the old piece. So we want a half inch lip on each end of it. And then it's a one and five eighths between there and that bend, and then two and an eighth between there and that bend. It's really kind of simple. Um, this one bend I'm working on now, I can't put it in the brake to make the bend. It just won't fit. So I did the initial bend over here. I can't do this bend here in the brake. So what I'm gonna do is just, uh, I've got it clamped down against my steel table and then I'll just work my way down the edge with a hammer. And I'll keep working it until I get a nice square bend.
Not hitting it too hard. Just I would start there. And just, just enough to make the pen. <laughs> you know, because again, um, I do believe. Um, All I need is according to my diagram here, two and an eighth. Read from you because he says, "Son, give God the glory." Did you steal them? Do you have? Yeah, that looks right. These eyes? He said, "I do." And and Aiken was that one too. Killed, and his whole family, so now this works terrible. really well. Just clamp this down. Even the valley of April in the Bible is they represented evil. I think it's a 90 degree bend. You have every right in the world to be bothered by these things. Okay, now I got to put the same radius I have here on this. See how we can do it on this shrinker. Somewhere I gotta go a little bit more, I think. Well, that was that. Now you gotta see how it fits up in the cab. Okay, so <laughs> I took this visor off right here, and I, I'm seeing where this this is a separate piece. This piece right here, and it goes down, and the whole piece originally falls all the way down around the window. But of course, I'm not going to make the whole thing. I'm just going to make, I'm going to have to make it to go down to where it's probably about to here, where I'm in good metal. And I got to do it on the other side too. So I got to make this piece and then make the mirror image of it to get them so it fits right. I'm going to do it, I'm going to make this out of flat and then I'm going to make this piece out of flat and then I'm going to weld it here in the center. That's how I'm going to make that radius. There's just no way I can pound that out or bend it and all that. So that's my next project. Okay, so I got, I've come up with this piece right here. And I'm going to use it to kind of try to make, make that, make that the same. I'm going to bend over the top, make it, because what I got to do is fit this, mark my places, and duplicate it for the other side before I cut this piece out. So I gotta know where it lands. Otherwise I'm just gonna be, you know, groping in the dark and I don't wanna do that. So this piece gonna basically go like that. I gotta put a bend in it because it's got a, this has a, a little bit of a bend. Probably can't see it so good. It's like a, a contour. I'm gonna contour that and then I'm going to make this one the mirror image of it. Well, this is what I got. <laughs> yes, Connor. So I made this piece because I tried to copy as close as I could this piece up in here, this piece here. And then I used this as a pattern for this, which of course is opposite because this goes on the other side. So the basic idea is I got to kind of figure out how it's going to go. But this is going to get welded onto this brow piece right here. And then the brow piece, these are the two brow pieces that are going to come together. It's got a funny bend in it. I'm not sure how to deal with that yet. See, if I look at the old piece, it's got like a that bend right there. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to recreate it as close as I'd like to, but that's what I'm going to try to do. Because this is the point where it goes to the center of the windshield, so i got to figure out how that's going to intersect. So... That's what I'm going to do next after I uh, trim this all out. I think I got enough pieces made now and I got it so I can trim it out and make it so I can fit those pieces in. Well, I got this thing fitted in there, clamped in with some vice grips. I made the two half pieces and then I have the joint in the middle here. I'm going to have to tune it up and probably put a couple beads of weld in place. And then I'll have this in one piece. Then I can tune it up a little bit more and make it fit better. Well, I got it lightly tacked in place. And I got the right angle on it with any luck. So now I just got to trim it up, flatten it out, and weld it all the way around. Make it look pretty somehow. <laughs> well, I got it. I got it all tacked up around here. I cut a chunk out and welded it through here. I'll grind this all off, kind of smooth. It don't have to be perfect. It's gonna look pretty good. 
Now I just got to figure out how to get my ends on here. That's the wrong end for that. But anyway, so now I just got to figure, uh, I got to put those on and get that mounted in there solid. What it's going to do is it's going to take the shape of this. And then I'm going to have to cut this out and build it to that. So I got to get this radius, which oh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that because it's going to be a pain. And if you look down that top lip, you can see how it has a curve to it. Like on this one, this one, the lip's gone, but it really, it curves up like that and then comes back down. A very, very slight curve. I, that's going to be tough to get. That little bit of a curve will be a nuisance, but well, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> well, this stuff definitely takes a little time, but I got things all tacked up. So I, I got it in place. I got the ends tacked up on both sides. It doesn't look too bad. I don't think it's perfect. I'll be able to tack weld it there again and tack it down there and put the other piece in and start tacking. But uh, before I do that, what I'll do is I'm going to take this piece back out with the vice grips and uh, weld everything solid, weld up all my pieces. This, this gizmo here. So with this head was a, a little bit of a heavier piece of steel behind it. So I'll probably do that on both sides just so I can hang a, so I can hang a sun visor to it. Obviously these are a little bit on the nasty side so I'll see what I can find what I'll do is I'll just leave it blank and when the time comes to hang a sun visor I'll drill it out and make them fit looks like I've got the right profile because if I eyeball down it at that the new piece where it's shiny follows where the old piece was other day working on a Studebaker got a little bit done today pretty happy with it actually so yeah so if you like the video like Subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.